When you ask somebody for their ID and they open up their wallet and they go like this, what do you say to them? You ask them to remove it from their wallet and hand it to you. Please don't touch their wallet or purse. They may accuse you of taking something out of there. You want to hold the ID in your hand. Check the expiration date. If the ID has an expiration date, it cannot be expired. Check the date of birth, photo, and the signature. When you look at their photo, you look straight across. Look at the distances between the eyes and compare with the presenter. Check the quality of the ID. Give it a little bend. You'd be surprised how they're nothing more than cardboard. They'll snap in your hands. Look at the back of the ID. Sometimes they are partly photocopied. They are blank. It's not a true barcode on there. Every state has different features. I one time had a bartender share the story with me that an ID was handed to him. He looked at the back and said, not valid ID, entertainment purposes only. And he said, I looked at the guy and said, very clever. Does all the font type and size match up? Check lines that vary in alignment, font or clarity. Security features, color resolutions, or the weight and thickness of the ID. Ask them questions on the ID. Compare the picture and ask questions like, what is the address on the ID? Have the person presenting the ID sign a separate paper with their signature and make a comparison. You can ask them for other forms of IDs with signatures on it. How are you tonight? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Got some ID there? Yes. Your ID's expired. Oh. But I got the real ID though. I understand that, but it's, I, I, I gotta see a valid ID. Expired ID is not valid. I can't serve you tonight until you get a valid ID. Only with this one time? I can't, no. no. I, I, you know, and I understand that. I appreciate it, but I, I can't. Not tonight. Okay, okay. okay. You. get Thank your ID you. in place. Get back in here. Thanks. Have a good evening. The Washington State Liquor Cannabis Board conducts compliance checks. The way a compliance check works is this. The WSLCB will hire individuals who are 17 to 20 years old and send them in to purchase alcohol or tobacco. They use their own ID. An enforcement officer may already be inside to observe what happens. One might accompany the minor or one might follow them in. Usually there's another enforcement officer outside. It is a very controlled situation. The problem is approximately 16% of the time the minor is served or sold alcohol. Half the time the ID is never asked for. The other half is looked at, but not really checked. According to the Washington State Liquor Cannabis Board, there are many reasons the sale was made. They simply got the math wrong, turned 18, not 21, couldn't see, didn't use glasses, simply were not paying attention. When checking ID, take time to check all 10 points. There's 10 things I'm going to ask you to look at on an ID. Now you're looking at me right now and going, 10 things on an ID? I don't have time to look at 10 things on an ID. You don't have time not to. If you serve a minor in this day and age, the ramifications both civil and legal can be huge. Number one, you want to look at the expiration date. If an ID is expired, it is not valid. Ask for other piece of ID. If the ID is valid, continue. Number two, check the photograph. Number three, year of birth. Number four, the day of birth. Number five, the month of birth. Number six, height. Number seven, weight. Number eight, their gender, male or female. Number nine, the state seal. Look for blurred images, something drawn on there. Is it the correct state seal? A partial state seal. I remember one time looking at a young man's ID and I realized the state seal was a hologram that said an official seal of authenticity. And number 10, the hundred rule. On your screen, you will see a Washington State driver's license, and I will show you how the 100 rule came to be. This is Washington State specific only. Your driver's license or ID card will have the first five digits of your last name. If you have less than five digits, asterisks will be placed in, and then it will have your initials. If you don't have a middle initial, an asterisk will be placed in there as well. Right after your initials, you will see two numbers. Add them to the last two digits of your year of birth, and it will add up to be 100.